What, what conference? conference? Well, that's Richard Lionheart. Okay. Hold on. Are we recording? I don't know. Okay. Um, so, you were saying Tony Pappas was a friend of yours? So start over. Yeah. Start over. Well, Tony Pappas, who is a friend of mine and ultimately committed suicide, uh, his uncle was the bishop of this uh, convent. What convent? No, no. It was a, a convent uh, not far from Athens. And uh, he, and he uh, appointed this one nun the only one who could speak English to travel around with us and talk to us, give us any information we wanted to get. But she was the youngest nun there, just about 19 years old. And uh, she was the lowest of the low. I mean, the nuns, nuns were lower, lower than the... Uh, uh, the monks and she was the lowest of the nuns but we were invited to dinner with the bishop and we're sitting there and they had her come so she could interpret for us so there she was sitting at the table with the bishop and very embarrassed <laughs> Well, the, after the dinner was over, they brought in some fruit. And he cut me a piece of, I don't know, some fruit, apple, I guess, to put on my plate. And I told her, I said, Sister, you tell the bishop that this is the first time in my life I've ever been served by a bishop. And I'm very impressed. So she told him, in a couple of minutes they, later, they bring in some cheese. And he cuts me a piece of cheese and puts it on my plate. And I said, Sister, you tell the bishop that this is the second time in my life I've been served by a bishop. I'm still very impressed. And then they brought in some cake. And he cuts me a piece of cake, puts it on my plate. And I said, Sister... You tell the bishop, it's the third time I've been served by a bishop my entire life. He said, I'm not imp so impressed anymore. <laughs> she says, oh, no, I can't tell him that. I said, I heard what he told you. He told you to say everything, tell me everything he said, and to tell him everything I said. And I just said this, you tell him. And she done her smothered herself in her napkin first. And then she told him. And the bishop looked at me, steam coming out of his ears. And he looked at me, he looked at me, he looked at me. Suddenly he started to laugh so hard he almost fell off his chair. <laughs> so everything went fine. That's good. He had been married before? His wife was chief of the nuns at the at the convent. His ex-wife. So you can be married if you're a monk, but not married if you're a bishop? That's right. That's in the, in the Greek Orthodox Church. If you get promoted to bishop, you're not married anymore. Very interesting.